Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So in this one, we're going to have two beginner errors that you might get when you're new to the Laravel framework. And the first one will be as follows. The SQL, um, unknown database Laravel, this one right here. Okay, so what this actually means is just your environment file. Let's quickly go there. Right, now if, if you go to your environment file, Right, this one right here, you go to, this is your installation, you go to the .env file right here, and you will see the database name right here. So with the default installation will normally be the name of the application you name. In this case, it will be Laravel Error. So I just wanted to do that, so let's go to Laravel Error. So if you see that, just make sure that you in your database, you actually got a table named Laravel Error. So let's quickly go there. Right, if you're using PHP My Admin, then you can obviously see all your tables, your databases right here. Okay, so if you want to create a new one, just name it right here, and then you press the create, right, in order to fix it. Right, so I already have the Laravel error right here, the database name, so I don't have to create one. Just type in the name and you press create. Then whatever you named it in the database, you put it in here. All right. So now let's say you didn't include any name right there. There's going to be a different error that you will get. And the name error will be as follows. SQL state invalid catalog name. There's no database selected. So that will be obviously the other error to give you a clue that there is no name in your env file for your database. Right, in order to fix them all, so I just put in my Laravel error so this is the name of the database okay so let's save that and the thing is if you have a password for your database to go to php my admin you will enter that here and obviously the username in order to get into that all right so all right so as you can see the error is fixed up all right so thank you guys for watching and if you like the video please give it a like and if you have any questions feedback or suggestions for any future errors that you may want me to fix for you, please leave it for me in the comment section or just to explain it a little bit better why you actually getting the error and you might not understand it and things like that. All right, thank you guys and see you in the next one. Adios.